Is it finally safe to circle back to Henry Schein? That's HSIC for you home gamers. For those of you who don't remember, this company is the largest distributor of dental and veterinary products in the world with a major vaccine kicker. For the better part of a decade, Henry Schein was an incredible performer with a stock that climbed from less than $20 at the depths of the Great Recession to $93 last summer. But over the past 12 months, the stock has been clobbered. It's down 25% as investors have started to doubt the company's ability to deliver organic growth in its core dental business. Of course, this is not the kind of company to just sit there and take it as the stock goes, goes lower. Henry Schein has announced a new joint venture to bolster its dental biz, while it's also telling us that it's going to spin off its fast-growing animal health division and merge it with Vets First Choice in order to unlock value for its shareholders. But while the company reported a solid enough quarter last month, some of the research reports notably those of Morgan Stanley, are predicting share loss to Amazon and that Shine's business could be slowing because of reimbursement pressure. So let's take a closer look with Stanley Bergman, the chairman and CEO of Henry Shine, to get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Bergman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Stanley. Have a seat. Hi, John. Thank you. Good to see you. All right, Stanley, let's cut to the chase because you're always straightforward. I've been yeah. reading this Morgan Stanley research, and they are very concerned that the second half of the year may not be strong. They're concerned about Amazon making inroads with dental offices, and they're concerned about reimbursement. And I would love to be have some of those fears allayed because the stock has been a tough one lately. Thank you, Jim, and thank you for having us on your show. We, we remain very optimistic about Henry Schein. I think you know from our last quarter earnings, we uh, reiterated guidance for 2018 at uh, 12 to 15 percent uh, EPS growth. We're pretty comfortable that uh, for the next years to come, We'll be in the high single digits, mid-teens in EPS growth. So you're saying right now that that growth that you projected when you last, when you last reported is still good, the numbers? We're comfortable with okay. that, yes, John. Okay. And uh, we have so many good things that are, are going on in the company. Uh, the dental business is very, very solid. The animal health business has great opportunities. Happy to discuss with you the reason why we're going to be spinning off well, the business. Well, let's do that because, one, you know, I, I, I like the model. I like the diversity. Animal health is one of my favorite businesses. You know, we've been a yes, big yes. supporter of IDEX Labs and Zoetis. So we felt it was a kind of if dental slows, vet stays strong. I mean, right. I like the mosaic, but you think the mosaic's not uh, as good as uh, going your separate ways? Uh, each of the businesses, the human side, the medical and the dental, has huge opportunities because, as you know, there's a growing correlation, and a lot of scientific papers are being published, a large correlation now between good oral care, good health care, good preventative treatments in, uh, out of the hospital, in the, uh, the office space setting, in the home, etc., is good for uh, uh, reducing health care costs and improving the quality of life. Okay. So that's one focus. On the other side, there's the animal health side. And yes, in the early days, it was all about logistics. It's not about logistics any longer. It's about demand generation. The notion that prescriptions are issued to veterinarians, by veterinarians, right. to the patients, and we've got to get compliance. Vet's first choice is a terrific company at ensuring that prescriptions that are issued ultimately are fulfilled. Right. And they have tremendous big data, small data, uh, 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 Artificial intelligence, we have the practice management systems. Put that together with our supply chain business, you have a unique opportunity. Okay, so talk to me about a couple of things that are about to happen, particularly your clear aligner, SLX, yeah. and why you think that may be able to take share from Invisalign. Well, we are in every aspect of dentistry. And the area of orthodontics has been important to us, and we're missing the clear aligner right. uh, product offering. We believe that our clear aligner product is a good one. It has as its base a clear uh, aligner, uh, uh, tr traditional uh, 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 wire and bracket system that connects to the clear aligner. You put the two together, and we believe we have a very good offering. You can buy our clear aligners separately as well, but you put the two together, and it's a great offering. Let me just add also that on the dental side, we have uh, uh, entered into a joint venture with Internet Brands to create right, Henry Shine One. Right. Um, yeah, Internet Brands owns WebMD, plus a number of other properties. Mm -hmm. But we have aligned with the dental side. And on the dental side, they have software that also generates demand for visits to the dentist. 
putting that together with our practice management systems, mm -hmm. and we have the leading practice management systems throughout the world, the developed world, and you put the two together, and we believe we can help dentists operate a more efficient practice so that they can provide better clinical care. Okay, one last question. There, are we saying right here that Morgan Stanley's analysis and their surveys, which indicate that Amazon is taking share, I know that you say that looks mail order was not that successful, you never got to 8%. No. Do we, can we refute their analysis that says that Amazon is taking share from you? I don't even want to deal with Amazon per se. I will say to you that all these electronic uh, ordering companies, standalone companies, have not done well. Okay. We believe in the high touch, full service model. And between the two businesses that we've just discussed, the Henry Schein uh, one Henry Schein and, and uh, the... Vets First Choice, we'll be generating somewhere between 120 and 130 million dollars of accretion over the next uh, three years. You put that together with all our ordering capabilities, mm -hmm. we have a great offering for the years to come. Okay, well that's what matters, years to come. Well, thank you so much. That's Stanley Bergman, uh, the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein. I hope he answers some of the questions that a, that a lot of Wall Street's been asked. Well, I shouldn't say a lot that Morgan Stanley's been asked about. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.